I don't like swimming. Maybe there's a boat, come in. Where's... Go back. Panic. Just finished work for the day and it's time to try and finish our journey to Abingdon because we're completely out of water now. It says it's about three hours and one lock. Hopefully we can get there quicker than that. And it is raining, but it's, it's kind of nice to be honest. We're not quite used to the process of setting off on rivers yet. So where's this barge pole in the front? Because we can't really use the propeller yet because we're in these reefs. Looks like we got ourselves a little flotilla. <laughs> Three little narrow boats tootling down the Thames together. Bye, lovely spot. Really good internet, good solar, nice and quiet, but enough people passing by for it to feel sort of safe. There's a co op in the town, I think it was Kennington. Really nice. Hey, Amy, what's that you can hear? Now that we've actually got a proper spanner set, I've been able to finally tighten the main alternator belt and it is so far, touch wood, not squeaking. So nice. We're coming up to a river lock and there's a locky on and he's waved us forward. But there's currently two kayaks in the lock, two narrow boats ahead and then us. And I don't know if we'll fit and it's it's weird the idea of sharing the lock with a kayak and then two other narrowboats. So we're gonna see what happens. We're in. The lockies have told us to hold the bow and the stern lines, turn our engines off. This is weird. There's so many boats in here. getting ready to just about fill the water tank up and for some reason the environment agency hose pipes have got some weird anti-tamper thing on so you're not allowed to use your own hose pipe we don't know if that's right or not but our hose pipe doesn't work and then as soon as you plug theirs in without changing anything it works so we're having to use theirs but it's super short so we're just having to walk the boat forward and we've had to wait for the boat in front to leave 
I don't know. It's confusing, but here we go. So we're all soggy and we're all fed up, but the facilities is done. And Wes has walked backwards a little bit to scope out some spots because there's a lot just in front of us, and that's pretty much the like town centre of Abingdon. And there weren't any spots that we could see for a while. These moorings just here that you can see, you have to pay for. And we're not opposed to paying, but we're gonna we want to stay here for like three or four days, so that could get expensive. And a little bit further behind, Wes has just gone walked. He said it's about a five minute walk backwards, and they're free. There's only one spot that I saw. And I really hope the internet's good there. Small silver lining. On rivers, you can literally turn around wherever you want. If this was the canal, we probably wouldn't be have the freedom to be able to do this. Yeah, we'd probably have to go down about five blocks. <laughs> Rivers are harder. <laughs> you find yourself just battling with a tree to moor up. We're finally putting our hook pole to good use. It's really good for grabbing ropes through like big bits of nettles and stuff to tie off. really does live a hard life doesn't he well we're in our mooring <laughs> we don't really know what to make of it seems all right the internet seems okay thankfully it's only about 20 minutes into the center of town so we can potentially get some laundry done as well and catch up on that because it's really backed up from being so busy we are on the way into abingdon Abingdon, which is the local town. It's only about a 15 minute walk. We've got a big bag of laundry that we're gonna take. And we've just hit 4,000 subscribers. And our 4,000 subscriber is none other than the lovely Well Deck Diaries. Thank you so, so much everyone who has subscribed, followed along, viewed the videos and supported us. It means so much. Thank you. So in Oxford, there's a really cool shop called the Futon Company that we found and it specializes in small space living. And they had like quite a lot of funky decor and we've wanted some, a little shelf to go here for a while. We thought that fits quite well. And we thought we could store some little bits in here and then have like a diffuser, maybe a little plant. Just thought that would look really cute. And then this was just more of a kind of practical purchase. This really cool little hook. We thought we would put it there and you basically, hook it out and it's got three hooks on it so we can put towels on there or so often we dry clothes and hang them on here but it's not very sound so we thought this would be cool and then you just flip it back up so basically this corner of the living room at night gets very dark without the lights on but it's very bright and harsh with the lights on and we've used that little battery operated lamp for quite some time but it's a bit rubbish to be honest it goes dim really quickly and now that we've got better battery bank we've treated ourselves to a plugged in lamp which doesn't come with a bulb back in the old trusty laundress again because it's reasonably close and with the heat waves and our friends being around the washing has really gotten backed up so <laughs> we've loved our entire wash basket and a bag full of clothes and we're just going to monopolize all these washers and just get back on top of it and reset our washing it's just really annoying having that much dirty washing all the time so just a hard reset will definitely help us to keep on top of it again. <laughs> That's a lot of 
start washing. Here we go. Oh my goodness. We're under attack. We just leave it. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's gone. But that was so big. Out, Today's a scary day because Amy's got a wisdom tooth that's decided to go a bit sideways. It's been causing me problems for months and months, but it's starting to hurt now. So I Googled. And there's a dentist right here in Abingdon that does emergency procedures. So I feel like we should just definitely get it sorted now. So it's not going to be a very fun one, but it's worth it. We're getting it sorted and then you'll be better. That'll be fine. There we go. You feeling okay? No. <laughs> it's not good news. Both of my wisdom teeth on the bottom are facing inwards. This one is causing problems. It's cutting into the root of the tooth in front, which is why it's hurting me. And I have to have my top wisdom tooth removed. So on Tuesday, I'm booked in to have dental surgery, where I'm gonna have to have this wisdom tooth removed, this wisdom tooth removed, and then I have to go back in two weeks time when the swelling's gone down to have root canal on the tooth that it's impacting. I'm so nervous. And Wes is stressing about his general <laughs> checkup on Tuesday. Listen, I'm terrified of the dentist. As anyone knows, I'm scared of most things in life. Dentists are high on that list. Wes has got a dental checkup at five. I've got a surgical operation at six. Guess who's more nervous, apparently? <laughs> I'm useless. <laughs> Head for our Friday evening chills and also to sort of celebrate our 4,000 subscribers, I guess. Cheers! Rufus is enjoying his Pepsi Max at the pub. <laughs> He's crying there because he hasn't got any chips. We feel you, Rufus. We feel you. <laughs> So we always planned that once we got to the Thames, we'd slow right down. But because of the dentist stuff, that means that we have to stay here for about the next three weeks just to get Amy's stuff sorted out. Abingdon's really lovely. We can bounce back between here and Oxford. It would just be that Amy's face is twice the size for a bit of it. <laughs> and we're in a spot at the moment that we can stay in for, we think, two weeks. We're just going to stay here and not move the boat. We're grumpy today because we've been looking for a rowing boat tender for ages. This morning, one popped up that looked absolutely perfect. It wasn't even that far away. We could have even potentially got a taxi there and rowed it back. It was absolutely everything that we wanted and it was in our price range. And Amy was messaging the guy on Facebook <laughs> and he was reading them all straight away and not replying. We were getting so frustrated. And it turns out it's because he was messaging another potential buyer who's now put some money down to go and pick it up. So we can't buy it now and we're so gutted because it felt so close. The search continues. By the time we find one, it's gonna be winter. <laughs> yeah. We've walked really far to an Argos in the hope that they've got some sort of dinghy. And they're looking for a camera. I'm really tired. No cameras, no boats. We've made a decision. Finding a little dinghy is proving very difficult. And so we've decided to do what we've seen a lot of other people doing and get a little inflatable one. So we're back here tomorrow morning to come pick it up, which is exciting. And we found a camera that we're also going to order online, so we've got a camera. 
Sunday morning today and we are making the fairly long trek back to Argos but we won't be walking back. But we will, but well, we're walking back 90% of the way. <laughs> Dinghy and I walk for miles with it in the big box for time. But it's almost dinghy time. We'll rebuild the channel again. Boat time, bus time, dinghy time. Here it is. <laughs> if I'm not at least this happy, I'm getting my money back. You better see that exact face. There we go. We made it to the river. Here it is. The best Wakanda 3000 <laughs> is from Argos, it's 52 pounds. <laughs> that kid is not having a good time. <laughs> Other inflatable vessels are available. This is not a sponsored post. <laughs> inflatable floor for extra comfort. Oh, I read that as combat. <laughs> or clasps, boat, pair of oars, hand pump, and repair patch. Excellent. Let's go. We don't need the instructions. <laughs> that is the brightest colour at my eyes. Wes was concerned about it being bright. <laughs> is it bright enough? I'm going to have to put like a warning on the video saying views with sensitive eyes. Look away. <laughs> oh, look how cute! It's bigger than I thought. It is, isn't it? Alright, time to get pumping. Amy, can you pass me the best way air hammer, please? <laughs> I promise this isn't sponsored. Who would want to pay us for sponsorship? <laughs> Get the Condor 3000 blown up with the best weight air hammer, Wes. <laughs> <laughs> Who names these? Come on, Amy, just insert the best weight air hammer into the Condor 3000. Surely we have to put it in... There's a two and a three. Surely there's a one. Oh. Come on, Amy. You're a captain of the Condor 3000 now. You're going to have to step your cave up. It's time for the best way air hammer to make it debut. Wow! <laughs> it's all gone wrong for the best way air hammer. Be careful, it can't handle it. It's alright. It's working though. Zone three. This is where it starts to look like a vessel. <laughs> Here she is, the Condor 3000. Time to assemble the oars. Structurally sound, top quality. <laughs> Careful with the Condor 3000. There's dirt on the Condor 3000. Is she ready for launch, Wes? I think she might be. I feel less confident now seeing it inflated. It's a real boat. Barely. Here we go. <laughs> the launch. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> he dropped our bag out of it. You <laughs> didn't realise you were just going to swing it in. Is it? Don't stand on there. <laughs> oh my god! Right, right, move to the stern of the boat then. Where are you? Who's? I'll sit in the bow and row. <laughs> Steady. <laughs> this giant box is so in the way. I think she's listing on the starboard side. <laughs> I'm in. Do I have to get in? I'm scared. No! <laughs> and we're in. Graceful. I'm trying to remember how to actually roll. Spinning around. Right, can you move the box? No. It's in the way. Here we go. 
<laughs> Where are we going, Wes? Turn us around. It's been so long since I rode. Turn around. <laughs> Turn around. Is it relaxing? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
pull me back in. <laughs> See ya. Let me in. <laughs> Easy, Amy. You're coming in too hard. <laughs> Just got back, but Wes is so excited about his new lamp. We've got a, got a little light bulb. Moment of truth. Got a very fragile thing that we're going to balance on top of a high up shelf. Nice. Oh. Oh, that looks really nice. You like it? Yeah, it's cosy. Oh, oh, brave boy. We're trying to build his confidence with water because he only really goes in for sticks. Other than that, he avoids it. Get it out. Boom. Don't pass it, mate. That's just a weed. We're just sitting down for dinner and look how cozy the new lamp is. It's so nice being able to have just a bit of light rather than none or all of it. I've made dinner tonight. Thank you. Wow, it looks amazing. Now we're watching Better Call Saul. Thanks for watching our new adventures on Condor 3000. And a massive thank you again for the chips this week. For even more and behind the scenes, check out our socials and we'll see you next week.